So we're here at the Storm booth here at South Point up in the plaza. And today, Mr. Chris Vi and I are helping out. Many of you may have heard we have had unfortunate circumstance where we lost six of our bowling balls. Unusable for the national event here, the Open Championship. So we're just going to be helping out some people. We got Stu over here too as well. He's helping out, trying to find a solution for everybody that's uh, currently here at the event, find some replacements for their bowling balls. And if they don't need them, then hopefully uh, don't need an exchange. If you are watching this video and you're coming out to Open Championships, just make sure you come prepared. Really, if you really don't need to exchange your bowling ball, we advise you not to because these bowling balls are still in play for most of the events. Depending on the tournament director or league president, I'm going to still be throwing these bowling balls where I can, and I think you should too. All right, so some of you may be thinking, I can't use this ball anymore, but I'm going to tell you you can. But if you want to swap it out, I'm going to try to help you out. I got this little price list. If you do want to come in and swap it out at the Storm booth, then it's going to be equal or lesser value. If you want to trade up, obviously pay the difference. You do have to get the ball drilled here. You can't swap the ball out and take it home. That's just for here at the Storm booth. If you're going to do the online portal thing, that's going to be its own thing. Let's start with altered and alert. Price, $10 difference. Your closest options are going to be the X2. And the dark code, they're not quite the same, but they fit the same spot. Phase four, I think the next closest ball would be Zen. Zen ball good. Cover's a little bit stronger, so expect a little smoother than your phase four, but it's probably the closest thing to it. Wolverine is kind of interchangeable with Spectre, so that's going to be a little more difficult. If you want to go step down, probably High Road. If you want to go step up, again, probably Zen. And then the last one, the Electrify Solid. I think those are a touch stronger than the Hustles, but the Hustles have always been really good, so if you want to go towards that route, this one's been really good. The Hype, I think, is a step up. Those are both options. The trend too. I guess the trend. Do we still make the trend? I don't know if it's still in line. Oh no, I think it's I think it's out of the line. Well, well, um, well, about what? About what? What about what? 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 What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. You just uh... keep using your ball forever. Don't replace it. No yes. need to replace it. No need. No need. No need. No need. Only USBC Open Championships will cause you problems, and you don't need it anyway. And right now, you only have an issue if you're here at the moment. If you're at home, yeah. come prepared. There will be some sort of exchange policy within your pro shop that you can get it taken care of there, and then just bring the new one with you. But again, you'll be able to throw these balls at most of the events that you're going to be bowling anyway. Yeah. So you really don't need to trade it. Correct. I love my alert just as much as the next guy. And I'm gonna keep throwing that thing. The end of uh, the end of league season, you can still throw it. Uh, all of your local tournaments, you can throw it. Uh, like I'm bowling my state tournament back home in like three weeks. I can throw all of them there. So I'm just gonna keep throwing them. Let's say you couldn't throw the trend two since you like that ball. I do like the trend two. What would you throw instead? Hmm. I pawn this one off on you because I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, maybe... Maybe a gem. <laughs> yeah, because that's very comparable. Hyped hybrid? UC2. Yeah, or you could do a UC2. It would be a little stronger, it would be a little earlier. It's just in a different way, you know, stronger core, but weaker cover. Depending on what you're bowling, too. Like, if you're just bowling, like, uh, kind of more recreational league stuff, UC2, I think, would be really good for you. Uh, X2 as well. Be a little rounder, not quite as whippy, which may be closer to the trend two. Those two would be good. It'd be a little bit of a step up. And then the hyped hybrid might be a little bit of a step down, but still really good. It's funny because he was, he was probably the most qualified to teach the class, but they kicked him out because he doesn't have a degree. So they found, they found somebody that... No. 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 You know what I didn't have this week at the Masters? No. Yeah. I threw a couple of shots though, dead straight the head pin that no. <laughs> they were. I watched those on live stream. They were definitely. No. It was the most fun I had all week. It goes. I'm just, he's here because he's big time. Big, big. Let him know what you're doing here. Uh, yeah, the plan was to maybe roll some balls in front of a camera, but uh, plans are kind of getting uh, there. They're on the they're, they're, Yeah, they're kind of <laughs> kind of shaky at the moment. Oh, so now you're here for fun. So yeah, I'm just here for fun. Nice. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Any thoughts on these banned balls? I don't know either. Oh my god. Affect, I have no thoughts. Does it affect you at all? It does not affect you at all. <laughs> Politics run. <laughs> the only thing left yeah, that so it affects for the rest of the year is the Open Championships, where if as long as you bring the appropriate equipment. 
You shouldn't have to worry about it. Or this is pretty much not a problem. Or, or PWBA events. So that would affect. It does affect the whole PWBA, PWBA tournament. Yeah. Well, we're not female, so we don't have to worry about it. Identify as female. Identify. That's another topic I don't want to go into. Yeah, yeah, Politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to know. No. Chris Barnes. <laughs> All events leader at the 2022 U.S. Open Championships. He had a lot of those, I'm assuming. No. I'm just wondering what kind of bowling balls you threw. I threw the gem a lot. I threw the gem a lot. I threw the phase four a little bit. Well, we don't want to tell the people that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I threw several different balls, but basically in doubles and singles, I threw the gem the whole time in doubles. And uh, for a significant portion of singles, and then I ended up with a idle synergy oh. at the end. So, okay. yeah, that's kind of uh, super curveball. That is a little sweet. Uh, yeah, not a lot of guys throw that one anymore, but it's really super, nice. super clean cover that, uh, and it's a new one, so it's <laughs> so pretty angular. And, uh, you know, I like to roll it, same as you. And uh, sometimes, yeah. And so it's kind of lets me do as much of that as I want, and still clear the front of the lane. Yeah, so. Nice. I throw it just like Chris Barnes, so I'm going to throw the same bowling balls. There we go. And so should you. Should victory. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch the Beef and Barnsy show, 10 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays Central Time. What do we got? Yeah, we got the used ball rack here at the Storm Booth. Some of my personal favorites. This one was really good for me. 15 pounds, $130. Well, $129.99 plus, plus tax, plus tax. What else we got? Lock, 15 pounds. Zero gravity, that's a sleeper ball. That ball could be really good this week. I mean, at the Open Championships, I think. Both pattern, don't care. High Road, Nano, that one also very good. Idle, don't make that one anymore. Another one of my personal favorites, and it was very popular on the tour. The Disturbed was the nut. That's 16 pounds, though. $300, that one's a little pricey. It's brand new, though. Honestly, the way I think of it, I go, how much money can I make with a bowling ball? And then the price just doesn't matter anymore. Like, people are like, how much can I pay you for your Alpha Crux? I'm like, how much money do you think I can make with it? And when the number becomes ridiculously high, I'm like, you're not paying $100,000 for an Alpha Crux. $300, you can make that back in your bracket action here. Just saying, great bowling ball. The Marvel Pearl, one of the best balls I've ever thrown. The Emerald, a lot of people call it the Emmy. That's a good one. One of my favorites as well. No, that's a Gravity Evolve. Strong ball. Could also be very good at the Open Championships. IQ Nano, yeah. I mean, legitimately, all these balls could play here. You come through Open Championships, clear this rack out. I just don't know if they have more balls to refill, so it might be kind of hard, but yeah, if this rack ends up empty and then Mark, Mark's like, yo, we sold all the used balls. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. Hey, Brian. Brian.